Are you guys ready for the last day? Yes. Are you excited, Mama? Yeah. Wait a minute, is that a princess? So You're so ready? I'm so yes. ready. Walking to the park and walking around is my favorite part. <laughs> That's my favorite part too. See, Mama? Okay. Well, this is our last day. We did Disney, then we did the California Adventure, and today's our last day at Disneyland. Yay, Weepy! And tomorrow's pool. Tomorrow's the pool at our hotel that Giovanni wanted to skip Disneyland to go swimming. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? Watch the show. Watch the show? Bachelor in the village. I'm strong, I'm handsome, I'm derriere. Debonair. Exactly. I make all the ladies swoon. Not all the ladies. Ah, uh, yes, there was one exception. Belle! You're the most beautiful girl in the village, which makes you the best. And don't I deserve the best? Who <laughs> was this close to getting away with? Belle! Say you'll marry me. I'm sorry, Gaston, I just don't deserve you. Well, she's right about that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Was that a yes? <laughs> no. Um. But not to worry, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Ooh. Matter of fact, I know a lovely young lady. Redhead, she can sing, she can swim. Honestly, she's a real catch. <laughs> I'll have Belle for my wife. Make no mistake about that. Picture, if you will, a young lady embarking on a nocturnal quest. Fleeing in fright through the forest, she comes upon a dark and mysterious castle. Little does she know she is about to enter the beastly zone. Hello? Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Is anybody there? Is anybody there? Is anybody there? As Belle looked around, she spotted a teapot. A teapot. A teapot. A teapot. <laughs> What is happening? Well, Belle is in the library with the candlestick. Beyond that, I haven't a clue. <laughs> you see, Mademoiselle, this is an enchanted castle. We can all talk. All of you? Ah, but of course. My name is Codsworth at your service. And I am Macy's Potts. <laughs> and I am Lumiere. Candles and teapots and... She discovered a magic rose. It's beautiful. Suddenly out of the shadows sprang forth a beast! <laughs> a hideous beast with crusty yellow face, gnarly matted hair, and putrid, rotting breath that smelled of garlic and old milk, emitting an odor so foul, so repulsive, so outrageously stinking. That any living creature would win that in a present. Are you finished? Play on, Falcon. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was only. Did you realize what you could have done? I didn't mean any harm. Get out! Where's my father? Get out! in the dungeon and offers to take his, her father's place, and the beast agrees, letting her father go as long as Belle promises to stay with him, the beast, in the castle. Which is great for the beast because he's so lonely, but bad for Belle because who wants to live with a beast? But good for Lumiere and Cotsworth and Mrs. Potts because maybe she'll break the spell and they can all be human again. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> you see, the beast was once a handsome prince. But because of his selfishness, a spell was cast upon him. All of us who lived in the castle. As saw the rose, it too was put under a spell. And continued to bloom until fits the prince's 21st year. As you can see, the petals have begun to fall. But if the beast can learn to love another and earn her love before the last petal falls, then the spell will be broken and we will all be human again. If not, he will remain a beast for all time. What's the use? She'll never see me as anything but a monster. Mission number one. Click the royal bow. Place your left foot behind the right hand. Slide your right foot forward. Put your left hand in. Put your right hand out. Then you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. Oh, we. That's what it's all about. Lesson number two. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Lesson number two, the royal dance. Oh, Sir Samuel, some royal dancing music. See me play. Are you ready? Awesome. Ready. Look into my eyes. Don't look away. Too scary. Oh, spin me in. And leg.
Please welcome the charming and delightful Mademoiselle Belle. Oh, the beast's heart was pounding. How could he begin to tell her how he felt? He knew for certain that he loved her. Belle, but I'm sorry I behaved like a... Well, the beast. It's all right. You have a side jump to conclusions. It's true, you know, you really can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> You had a birthday party as Belle, right? Because Bella and Isabella. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. 